A star is nearing the end of its lifespan somewhere in the universe. Perhaps it is a large star that is collapsing due to its own gravity. It might also be a dense cinder of a star that has been stealing stuff from a companion star until it can no longer support its own mass. Regardless of the cause, this star doesn't gently go into the gloomy fabric of space and time. We are left with an unmatched brightness and a tsunami of particles and atoms as it goes kicking and screaming, exploding its starry guts throughout the universe. A supernova develops. The earliest supernova known is over 2,000 years old. Chinese astronomers picked up on a bright light in the sky around 185 AD. These early astronomers recorded their findings in the Book of Later Han, noting that it shone like a star, seemed to be half the size of a bamboo mat, and did not move through the sky like a comet. This celestial guest gradually disappeared from view over the course of the following eight months. It was referred to as a guest star. Scientists discovered signs of this enigmatic visitor two millennia later, in the 1960s, in the remains of a supernova around 8,000 light years away. The earliest supernova that has been observed by humans is SN185. Many of the substances that make up our bodies came from supernovae. Everything you can think of, including the oxygen you breathe, calcium in your bones, iron in your blood, and silicon in your computer, was created in the star's core. A supernova's explosion sets off a flurry of nuclear events. A large number of the components of the world around us are created by these nuclear reactions. Between oxygen and iron, core collapse supernovae, those huge stars that collapse under their own gravity, provide the majority of the elements. Together with white dwarfs known as thermonuclear supernovae, who take mass from their binary partners, they are responsible for creating the universe's iron. Additionally, according to scientists, supernovae are a major location for the creation of the majority of the elements heavier than iron. Supernovae are factories for neutrinos. An explosion of more than 1058 neutrinos, phantom particles that can move undetected through practically everything in the cosmos, will be released by a core collapse supernova during the course of a 10 second period. It would take a light year of lead to stop a neutrino outside of the supernova core. However, the center of a star that is exploding can get so thick that even neutrinos need some time to escape. Neutrinos transport away 99% of the energy of the explosion when they do get to escape. Snooze, an early warning system, is used by scientists to keep an eye out for that neutrino blast. Snooze is a global network of neutrino detectors. Every time a detector detects a neutrino burst, it is programmed to send a datagram to a central computer. The algorithm automatically alerts astronomers to be on the lookout for exploding stars if more than two experiments notice an explosion within 10 seconds. However, you don't need to be a skilled astronomer to get an alert. Anyone can sign up to receive notification as soon as a star's core collapses. Powerful particle accelerators include supernovae. In comparison to the Large Hadron Collider, which is the most potent collider on Earth, supernovae are natural space laboratories because they can accelerate particles to energies that are at least 1,000 times greater. A shock is an area that is magnetized as a result of the interaction between a supernova's outburst and the interstellar gas in its immediate vicinity. Similar to a basketball being dribbled closer and closer to the ground, particles moving into the shock bounce about the magnetic field and accelerate. Some of these high-energy particles, known as cosmic rays, are eventually released into space and strike our atmosphere, hitting with atoms to produce showers of secondary particles that fall on our heads. Radiation is produced by supernovae. The nuclear events that take place inside of supernovae also produce radioactive isotopes in addition to creating elements and neutrinos. Some of this radioactivity produces light signals that we can see in space, such gamma rays. In part because of this radioactivity, supernovae are so brilliant. We can use it to find out whether any supernovae have exploded nearby Earth as well. 
These unstable nuclei would be sprayed upon our globe if a supernova happened close enough. Therefore, when researchers uncover sediment layers containing peaks of radioactive isotopes, they are aware to check whether what they have discovered was ejected by an exploding star. When physicists examined oceanic crusts in 1998, they discovered layers that had an abundance of 60 Fe, a radioactive form of iron that can be produced in large quantities within supernovae. They were able to determine how long ago the 60 Fe arrived on Earth by using the rate of disintegration over time. They came to the conclusion that it was probably dumped on our planet 2.8 million years ago by a nearby supernova. A supernova close could result in a mass extinction. Our world may suffer greatly if a supernova were to erupt nearby. While there are many aspects of how being in the vicinity of an exploding star would affect humans that we are still unsure of, we do know that supernovae release massive amounts of high-energy photons like X-rays and gamma rays. The radiation would deplete the ozone in our atmosphere. The sun's UV beams would fry every animal in our food chain from the bottom up until only dirt and bones were left on the globe. According to statistics, a supernova in our galaxy has been long overdue. In our galaxy, there are one or two supernovae per century on average. But it has been almost 400 years since humans last witnessed a supernova in the Milky Way. The most recent close supernova was not even in our galaxy when it was discovered in 1987. It was located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a close-by satellite galaxy. However, you probably won't have to worry about dying in a supernova during your lifetime, or that of your children, grandchildren, or great-great-great-grandchildren. The nearest contender for a supernova, I.K. Pegasi, is 150 light-years distant, which is too far for it to seriously harm Earth. Even the 2.8 million year old supernova, which discharged radioactive material into our oceans, was at least 100 light years away from Earth, meaning it was too far away to cause a mass extinction. They called it a near miss by physicists. Light from supernovae can travel through time. A supernova echoes in space as its light waves hit cosmic dust clouds and reroute itself toward Earth, much like how your voice echoes when its sound waves hit a surface and bounce back. This phenomenon creates a window into the past, allowing researchers to examine and analyze supernovae that occurred hundreds of years ago thanks to the echoed light's picturesque path to Earth. Tycho's supernova, also known as SN 1572, a supernova that erupted in 1572, is a recent illustration of this. This supernova was visible during the day, shone brighter than Venus, and took two years to disappear from the sky. Astronomers discovered light waves coming from the progenitor star's cosmic wreckage in 2008. They discovered that the light they were observing was an echo of Tycho's supernova. Scientists were able to examine the supernova spectra and identify it as a thermonuclear supernova despite the fact that the light was 20 billion times fainter than what Tycho Brahe saw in 1572. Light from this famous supernova, which exploded more than four centuries ago, is still reaching Earth. In order to find dark energy, supernovae were used. Thermonuclear supernovae can serve as cosmological lighthouses due to their extreme brightness and the consistent brightening and dimming of their light. Scientists hypothesized in 1998 that the Great Bang-induced cosmic expansion was probably slowing down over time. However, research on supernovae revealed that the universe's expansion was really accelerating. By examining the timeline over which they brighten and fade, scientists may determine the true brightness of supernovae. The distance to these supernovae can be calculated by comparing their apparent brightness to their real brightness. The wavelength of a supernova's light can likewise be measured to increase as it gets further away from Earth. The redshift is the term for this. Scientists were able to determine how the rate of expansion has evolved throughout the history of the universe by comparing the redshift with the distances of supernovae. The cause of this cosmic acceleration, according to scientists, is a substance known as dark energy. Approximately 10 supernovae occur per second. It's likely that a star will have burst somewhere in the universe by the time you get to the end of this sentence. The number of supernovae discovered by astronomers is growing as they develop more effective methods for space exploration. 
At this time, they discover more over a thousand supernovae annually. However, you are actually seeing into the past when you gaze deep into the night sky at brilliant lights that are illuminated from billions of light years away. The supernovae that researchers are finding date all the way back to the Big Bang. Scientists can calculate the rate at which supernovae occur throughout the cosmos by adding up all of the supernovae they have observed. According to estimates made by scientists, roughly 10 supernovae explode in space every second, much like microwave popcorn. We're about to become considerably more adept at finding distant supernovae. Even while we have long known about these exploding stars, there is still a great deal we don't understand about them. Supernovae come in two known kinds, but there are many more that are still unknown to science. It is possible for two white dwarfs to fuse and form supernovae. A star's revolution could also produce a black hole that accretes matter and shoots a jet through the star. Or a star's core density can be so great that electron-positron pairs begin to form there, starting a chain reaction inside the star. The Dark Energy Survey, or DES, is being used by scientists to map the night sky at this time. By keeping an eye out for changes over time in the photographs they acquire, scientists can find new supernova explosions. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and tell your friends about it so we can make more like it. Click the subscribe button to see more content like this and don't forget to activate the notification bell. Check watch our other videos as well if you haven't already. Thank you for viewing.